Good morning. It's the Butter Hag here. Um, I just wanted to go on YouTube and do a video and talk about all the things that happened to me in the short time that I was on TikTok. Um, I started my account on TikTok in June of 2020. And um, as of right now, the middle of October 2020, I have 181,000 followers. In the time that I was on TikTok, right now I am shadow banned on TikTok, which if you don't understand what, I mean, anybody who knows anything about internet knows what shadow ban is, but shadow ban is when you make the owners of an application mad at you, and so you can continue to create content, but you will not have your content seen. So after getting 181,000 followers, they shadow banned me because they got mad at me. Um... During that time, videos that went viral for me were videos where I talked about experiences that I had with um, uh, seeing racism in this country, severe racism in this country when I was growing up, video about my dreadlocks, a video about, um, you know, s things like that went viral. You can visit my Butterhag TikTok page and view my v videos and see which ones got the most hits. Um, during the time that I was on TikTok, though, I had, because when you start to get a lot of followers and get a lot of attention, that brings out a lot of haters. And to someone who has never had that kind of viral success, it can be a little difficult to figure out how to deal with those haters. And TikTok provides zero feedback for content providers, how to cope with the death threats that come in. And these stalkers, they don't warn you about the stalkers. But, oh my goodness, you need to really be careful what videos you put up on TikTok. It seems as though there is a lot of really, really bored people on TikTok that will watch your videos for landmarks and then use Google Earth, come into your lives and ask seemingly innocent questions, and then use Google Earth to spend hours and hours and hours using landmarks in your videos to pinpoint your location, and then they will send the police to your front door to do a welfare check from New York State when you're in Florida. I'm in Florida. She's in New York State. She sent the cops to my front door. And then admitted to them when they called her back, oh, yes, 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 I'm in New York State. I found her on Google Maps. Here, let me tell you which videos I used to stalk her. Yes. So, you'll work really hard, you'll put a lot of effort in, you'll create an account, you'll get, if you're really lucky, you'll get a bunch of attention, and lots of followers, and lots of love, but if you piss TikTok off, they'll shut you down in a heartbeat. They don't communicate, they don't care, so all of your effort to create videos and content for them, all of your effort to fight for that company while Donald Trump is attacking it, all of your effort will just get flushed right down the fucking toilet with no comment, no consideration for the amount of effort or energy that you've put into building your channel. Just fuck off. Fuck off. There you go. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for spending countless hours building your account and all of your dedication. Fuck off now. The racism and intolerance. The algorithm on TikTok really is confused. Okay, a good friend of mine on TikTok, put Halloween makeup on, really good Halloween makeup. She did a really good job. They permanently banned her off of going live, permanently banned her for Halloween makeup. I was drinking Crystal Light talking about my Judge Judy episode and got banned off of lives for dangerous activity. The algorithm really stinks. The communication level from, you know, I think once you get like 150,000 followers, you deserve a little bit more personal interaction from the owners of the app than what they provide before they shut down and throw away all the hours that you've put into building your account. They should have a little, they should treat you like an adult. But see, on TikTok, you're not allowed to talk about adult things. Only the adults can talk about adult things. You're supposed to keep dancing and singing and making people laugh. You're not supposed to talk about real life problems, real life concerns. You, we, you know, the, the future of TikTok was at stake. All TikTok content providers were concerned because their little tiny income streams that they had worked so hard to build up on the app 
were in danger of going down and we would go live to talk about that and get shut down because we're not allowed to talk about controversial topics on TikTok. Oh, no, no, no. Keep dancing and keep singing. Just like on all the other social media apps. You've got to keep dancing. You've got to keep singing. You can't be too real. You can't be too real. Or the powers that be in this world will silence your voice. That's my review of TikTok. Go join another, another social media company that wants you glued to your fucking screen so they can get rich.